All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Billy Goat again, showing you my update for my new system. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little something in my throat. All right, so I swapped out the fuse holders. These are from New Concepts, the same people that I got my primary wires from, which you can see some of these old bad mama jamas right here. So obviously got them wired in. I got the remotes wired in. I'm gonna try and hide these a little bit better. Tuck this around the corner some more. But just to clean it up, I was, I'm obviously still working because you see all the zip tie tails and nothing's cleaned up. So this is my new toy. This is the Arc Audio PS850. It's eight channels amplified by 100, or you can bridge it down to four channels amplified by 200. I don't have it hooked up yet with the speaker wires or anything like that because I'm getting some black Molex pins, Molex connectors, which I don't know because of the shadow. Might not be able to see, but there's a connector right here for the speaker outs that I'm going to be bridging and all that. Still got the Soundstream SX, still running the Adire 12KH501 D2, wired to 1 ohm, same box, all of that. Speaker wires sitting there just waiting to get hooked up. I do have my lithium board installed. It is um, PPG's Abundant Blue, which is actually almost an exact metallic match for the Soundstream Blue, which is pretty awesome. So I got my ground coming off of here on lithium. I obviously don't have it hooked up yet. It is evidenced by the tape covering the terminals. Got this one over here. I did put the fuse in just to do some testing to make sure it works. It does work. Okay, underneath here, right about here-ish, over here, I have a battery isolator, which you'll hear when I turn it on. And that's that. Coming over here, on my A pillars, I actually swapped out. I've got some ScanSpeak D3004, um, 4 ohm tweeters. They're in Velocar pods that are the adjustable ones so I can change the angle of the pod itself so I can point it in different places. Um, they're pretty cool. I can't wait to get everything done in so I can actually hear what they sound like and do some tuning but how do you know that your everything is wired up right you hear your battery isolator click and then your amps turn on yeah we're getting there folks we're getting there <laughs> 